Hello, my dears. How are you? It's Alina. If you like this story, please subscribe me. Can you guess what story I want to tell you today? Yes, you're right. It's about Bill and the Beast. Are you ready? Let's go. Once upon a time, an enchantress turned a handsome prince into a terrible beast when she discovered his selfishness. She left behind an enchanted rose. If the prince did not find true love before the last rose petal fell, he would remain a beast forever. Wow! In a village nearby, Belle lived with her father. More than anything, Bill wanted an adventure like those she read about in her beloved books. Gaston wanted to marry Bill, but she refused. Bill thought he was a beastly boar, and Gaston didn't understand why she was always reading. It's not right for a woman to read, he said. Bill's father, Maurice, was an inventor. His latest invention was an automatic woodchopper, which he was taking to a contest at the county fair. You'll win first prize, Bill declared. On his way to the fair, Maurice got lost in the woods. A pack of wolves chased him to the gates of a nearby castle. Not sure what he would find inside, Maurice entered the castle grounds cautiously. Maurice could never have imagined the hideous beast that confronted him. Thinking Maurice had come to stare at him, the beast was furious. Without mercy, he locked this unwanted visitor in the dungeon. When her father's horse came home alone, Belle went in search of her father and found him locked up. Belle begged the beast for Maurice's freedom. Take me instead, she offered. The beast agreed, making her promise to stay in the castle forever. On her first night, Belle met the castle servants. The spell cast by the enchantress had turned them into enchanted objects. They were funny, friendly, and treated Belle like a special guest. At dinner time, Belle refused the beast's invitation to join him, which made him roar with frustration. He was anxious to end the spell and felt Belle was a sign of hope. Mrs. Potts, the teapot, and Lumiere, the candle room, told him to be patient and, above all, kind. Later that night, Belle came upon the magic rose the enchantress had left behind. As Belle reached out to touch it, the beast appeared and grabbed the precious rose. Get out! He yelled. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe and like me and be sure to leave us a comment. Belle fled the castle on her horse but was attacked by the same wolves that had chased her father. Risking his life, the beast saved Belle. In the days that followed, Belle began to see the goodness in the beast. One evening, the beast again invited Belle to dinner. This time she accepted. As they rolled around the ballroom, the beast realized he was in love with Bill. Because of his love, the beast let Bill return home to see her father. How excellent! When Gaston heard her speak fondly of the beast, he grew jealous and stormed the castle. Gaston stabbed the beast and then was accidentally knocked off the roof. Bill pulled the beast to safety. Please, don't leave me, she sobbed. I love you. As she spoke, the last rose petal fell. Then a shower of sparks filled the air. The beast began to transform into a handsome prince. The enchanted objects were filled with joy as they turned back into humans and watched their prince and Bill fall in love anew. My beautifuls, did you like this story? If you like, I will come to you again with the beautiful stories. Kiss you. Goodbye.